Hello world, welcome back to another Pico CTF 2022 write up video. In this video, we'll be walking through the cryptography challenge very smooth, worth 300 points. Let's get into it. For get safe primes, here we like to live dangerously. Okay, so I've already downloaded the files for our convenience. If we open up output.txt, we'll see that there's an N and a C. So already I'm thinking RSA off the top of my head because that's usually C and N are usually what are used for RSA, N being the modulus or whatever, and C being the ciphertext. Let's go ahead and open up the program though. And I would run it, but in this case, it's better if we just look at it. Okay. So scrolling, you can read and understand all this if you want to, but where the money's at is here's an E value, again, another RSA type variable, and then here's our N, P times Q. Okay, there you go. P and Q will be two prime factorials of N. And then you have least common multiple power inverse modulo here. So yeah, this looks like a variation of an RSA encryption. Now there's a very special tool called the RSA CTF tool that can help us instead of us trying to figure out how to decode this ourselves, which sure would be more intuitive, but why do that when there's a tool that already exists that can do all that for us? As long as we understand how RSA works, we can use that tool to potentially decode the RSA encryption. That way we don't have to figure it out ourselves, like I said. So we know how RSA works. So let's go ahead and run our tool. As you can see, there's some left residual, leftover residuals from when I ran it last time, but we'll ignore those. Actually, let's just do tag H so we can actually see what we're working with here. So uncipher will be the cipher text and it can handle, which it doesn't mention there, but it can handle hex by putting a zero X in front of it or ints. So you want to put your values in in either hex or decimal, but make sure when you put the hex in, you put the zero X before the hexadecimal characters. So we'll be using those flags and I will go ahead and bring our little N and C back up here. So we'll run. Okay. Let me clear it. So let's grab our modulo. In and we'll do tilde, okay, and then we'll do tech in, and this is in hex, so we need the zero X, and then we'll paste that in, and then we'll do, we'll go ahead and do our C, sorry, we'll do our tech tech on cipher, and we'll put our cipher text in. Okay, remember this also needs a zero X, then we'll do our tag E and we have that right here. So we'll just copy that over and then we'll let it solve it for us. If you look at the output, there's multiple places where the key was actually cracked. So there you go. There's our flag. I hope I've introduced you to a new tool you may not have been aware of, but yes, this heavily streamlines a lot of the RSA challenges. Now this doesn't work for every single one because there can be more complex RSA challenges that this tool simply won't be able to crack. But it's been improved over time to be able to handle very strenuous RSA challenges. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comments section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.